So that video took quite a while to upload. I actually had to re-download YouTube Capture to upload the video. Anywho, here we go <clears throat> with the Criterion DVDs that I've gotten. And first up is Night to Remember, which is a great, great movie. Uh, the best, in my opinion, of the Titanic movies. I've got a couple of Titanic movies. I don't have the James Cameron one. Uh, good movie, but not my favorite. <clears throat> it's done in 1958. This is an uh, English film. It's a British film. Um, 123 minutes. Roy Ward Baker. You probably remember from the Hammer stuff. And uh, directs this. There's a great documentary, actually, from the uh, BBC on the iceberg that sunk the Titanic. Yes, we have a documentary, actually, on the iceberg. We also get some Survivor documentary on here. A six-minute documentary, basically, on the uh, film itself. Some great behind-the-scenes footage. It's a great set. Really, really should pick it up. This is number seven in the Criterion Collection. Next up is Picnic and Hanging Rock. Don't have a lot to say about this one because you know this was the, one of the first Criterions I picked up and one of the least watched Criterions I have in my collection. They're upgrading this one to Blu-ray, so better have some really good features on it because it is a gorgeous looking film, but it's not the greatest film. I do want to know some more stuff about Peter Ware as a director. This is bare bones as it gets, guys. Even the little... Booklet is a very little booklet, kind of like the size you get on those old, old MGM releases back in the day, except smaller. Uh, it runs at uh, 107 minutes, 29. This is number 29 in the collection. Not my favorite. Hoping to get uh, a better upgrade of that one down the road with some good features. Next up is one of my favorites, actually, Diabolique. Diabolique is a great French film, great thriller, really creepy out. Uh, back in uh, this one came out back in 1955. It is the nu it is number hmm, 35 in the Criterion Collection. Love, love, love this film. Uh, this has oh, what's her name? Honey Simone. Signore. Simone Signore in this one, and she is beautiful. As always, this is a great film. Great ending. It's been done lots of times since, but it wasn't back then. Great, great film. Belongs in your collection. Seriously, guys, Diabolique. Great cover, great film. You, you should have it. Next up is Hitchcock, and I love this film. Uh, Robert Donay and Madeline Car Carroll in The Thirty Nine Steps. So this again is one of Hitchcock's British films. One of his really great things that he did before he came over to America. This was done in 1935, 86 minutes long. Great film, very tightly directed. Like the, uh, like I mentioned with the uh, man who knew too much. He really did. Amazing jobs with his uh, films. Hitchcock, the early years, is a really cool documentary. There's some great stuff on here as well. Uh, again, more of that Truffaut interview. And that is number 56. <clears throat> Next up is Chasing Amy. Great Kevin Smith movie. Gotta get my better half to watch it because she hasn't seen this Kevin Smith movie yet. She needs to see it because she needs to see everything Kevin Smith. Her favorite Kevin Smith movie is... Mall rats, and uh, that's a little too the. I was gonna say it was too commercial, but no, I love Kevin Smith. All this stuff is great. Uh, Red State's my favorite. I'd like to see that get a Criterion release. Number seventy-five, great release, really cool opening. Love this hair, kind of like the Chasing Amy comic book thing done here. If you're a comic book fan, if you're a Kevin Smith fan, you gotta have this one. Next up is another Peter Ware film because uh, I love films that have no ending. Uh, <laughs> and it's uh, Peter Ware's uh, The Last Wave. Actually, this is a great film with uh, Richard Chamberlain. It's number 142 in the Criterion Collection. Uh, very much the kind of like the uh, nature run havoc type of film. Uh, done in Australia. Of course, Ware is from there. Uh, great stuff. And uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a beautiful film. Just so well done. Uh, Chamberlain plays a, a liar that uh, is defending uh, this, uh, what's defending? Well he, well, he takes on this uh, group of Aboriginals that uh, kill off one of their own, but, you know, it's done in their, uh, that's the way it's done in their culture. And uh, stuff happens to them. Next up is a favorite of both mine and my better ass, Fear and Loathing Las Vegas. And yes, uh, when you got the original one, it was cut like this. To, uh, it's kind of cool. It, the originals are cut like this, the other ones are kind of like this, but I like this cut. And uh, it's a great two disc set, a wonderful film, great uh, great features. This is number 175, 
as a guy that did journalism in school. Hunter S. Thompson is one of my idols, along with uh, G.B. Trudeau, uh, two people that I uh, really admired, And because uh, I'm weird that way. And I still, to this day, in some ways, consider myself a journalist. Next up is, is the cheapest one I ever bought. I bought it for 99 cents at a uh, sale, uh, what do you call it, uh, the uh, animal shelter sale. And it was number 225, the Criterion Collection. It was a great film with John Mills and Sir Alec Guinness, uh, both sirs actually, and uh, Tunes of Glory. A wonderful film. Uh, if you've never seen this one, you really should. It is a great film. I... Uh, not a lot of features on this one here. Uh, this one is definitely uh, need, in need of an upgrade, a glory upgrade, but it's a great film. It's a fantastic film. Next up is number 226 in my uh, Criterion Collection, and that is Unibaba, an amazing film. Great cinematography, great film. Uh, just a simple little story. Uh, the mask in this movie creeped the hell out of me when I was younger. You know what? Still does. Uh, just one of those films that does it for me. There are some great stuff on here. There's some rare Super 8 uh, black and white color footage provided by the actor on the on the set at the time, you know, and it's a lot of great stuff. There's a video interview with the director, just some incredible, incredible stuff. Love this film. It is a great film in the, uh, in the collection. If you love Japanese films, this is one to see. This is a silent film with words. This is exactly what this is. Next up is a fantastic French thriller called Eyes Without a Face. I love this movie. This is an incredible film. Again, it's uh, done by... Hmm... I can't remember the director's name. Now they're cheating, I can't. But it's on the front there. Uh, George Fan... I can see the book. Okay, we'll go... Well, Franju? Franju? F-R-A-N-J-U. She she's, knows the French, so I'm going with her. Yeah. Franju. Okay, hey, right on. Franju. So, Eyes to the Face. Incredible film. Kind of a weird feature on here is a, a documentary on the slaughterhouse of Paris, slaughterhouses of Paris. Uh, probably one I'm not going to watch with my better half. Uh, the film, yes. The documentary, not so much. Great one. Love this one here. Next up is uh, a comedy. I don't, I don't have a lot of comedies with uh, this here. I got a few, but this one is really cool. It's a 90s comedy, but and it's by Noah Baumbach. If you're a Fan of the recent uh, Francis Ha, it's by the same guy, uh, kicking and screaming. Uh, once you uh, see the film, you'll understand this cover here. It is number 349, in case I didn't say it. 260 was Eyes to the Face, by the way. Uh, and it is a, it's a great film. Uh, there's a short film on here as well. Just some really, just some really cool stuff. Uh, check it out. It's a 90s comedy, and it's uh, exactly what you expect from 90s comedy. Next up is a set, and it's science is fiction, 23 films by Jean Penlevé. And uh, it's a three-disc set, some really great stuff, some really great films by him. 13 on one disc, 10 on the next disc, and the third disc is a 169-minute documentary on the, on the guy himself. That is incredible. Jean Penlevé through his films. An incredible, incredible documentary. French with English subtitles, of course. Great stuff. Uh, some very different stuff. Uh, it's very much an experimental set. If you uh, like this type of stuff, you should really pick it up. This is where I'm going to end this video right now because I'm going to do my second half on my next video because I want to take the time to actually look at the sets and so you guys are able to see them. And this is number 468, Science is Fiction by 23 Films by John Penleve. Incredible set. Don't you love this cover, guys? Seriously? Isn't this an amazing cover? Let's open it up. Great big thick booklet like a lot of these things do have, and uh, let's just list you a couple of the uh, the ones here. Uh, stuff like sea urchins, how some jellyfish are born, liquid crystals, the seahorse, uh, the octopus, sea ballerinas, pigeons in the square, voyage to the sky, the struggle for survival, the fourth dimension. Just a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, Thanks for watching, and I'll have a third part coming up next, and hopefully it won't take as long to uploading this one as it did the last one. And for me right now, the throat's going, so I'm going to go watch some stuff, but while I do that, I'm going to go ball the kettle, because it is seriously 100% time for tea.